Two faces at Thompson High School, one being our women's basketball coach. Coach Bogans joins us now. And tell me a little bit about how you got to Thompson. Uh, well, um, let's see. Let's, where do we start? I've um, been blessed to have a career that have spanned it about two decades. It's probably telling people my age, but uh, I've been blessed to be able to coach men's and women's basketball, both at the collegiate level. Uh, and the high school level. And so this year, I'm, last year, I coached at Texas Southern University in, out of Houston, uh, Division One program. Um, we, our coaching staff followed up Cynthia Cooper, who's a legendary WNBA player and uh, had some, some success as a college coach and uh, came here hoping to do the exact same thing here. Now, I have to ask the obvious question, the difference between college and high school girls when it comes to basketball. Um, well, for me, the biggest thing is, for me, it's patience. Um, I think college players have a little bit more maturity. They understand who they are. Uh, they're, they're a little bit more comfortable with who they are as a person. I think um, when you, especially for our team, we have a really, really young squad. Um, most of them are freshmen and sophomores. And so they're still at a, at a stage and, and place in their life where they're still trying to figure out who they are. Uh, and and also be comfortable with that who they are as a person. And so, uh, for me as a head coach, uh, that's one of the things that I I try to encourage them to be is uh, authentically be be themselves. And uh, it's up for the people around them to to be willing to accept them for who they are. Now you're a family man, and I know when you go to your wife and say, "Hey, we're moving to Alabama," talk about what that was like. And I guess it kind of comes with the territory being a coach's wife. So, uh, so I'll go a little bit further back into my background. So I am originally from Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I played at Phillips High School. I uh, went to the University of Montevallo, played at Wallace State Community College uh, down in Selma, Alabama. So Alabama is home. Uh, I, now I'm the prodigal child that, that disappeared for 20 years, but I have uh, considered this coming back home. Strangely enough, before I took the job at Texas Southern University, my wife asked me if I would consider moving back home. And at that point in time, I told her no. God has a way. Right. And so, um, you know, it was the right season for our family, uh, where we are as far as, far as we have a 10-year-old son and an 8-year-old son. And so the move was not only about us coming to Thompson High School and trying to impact young lives, but also put our kids in a better situation where they could see their family a lot more versus hearing about them. Talk about your boys. Are they involved in sports? Uh, so my youngest son, his name is Joshua, and Joshua uh, t has told me that he's going to play in the NBA and the NFL. He's going to do both. He's going to do both. He's going to do both. So uh, we're, st we're trying to figure it out. My oldest, uh, pretty big kid. <clears throat> likes a few different sports we hadn't really figured out what direction he wants to go in with them uh, he he has a desire to play football uh, my wife is in the medical field uh -oh. <laughs> um, and i'm a football person i, I love the game uh, most of his uh, family members that's part of our nature uh, football with being from alabama so <clears throat> my, my wife has made she's made some adjustments with it i you know i think she's allowing herself to see it more uh, but i do think that's a tough thing from her for her to uh grasp at certain points in time so it's just tough for a mom too it is it is um you know mama bears um that's the protectiveness uh, nature of them it's natural for them to want to make sure that their kids are safe uh, men, we're also thinking on the tougher side. I want my kid tough and those type of things. And so we're willing to put them at a little bit more risk than what, than what most mothers are. Um, but at the same time, uh, I not only love my, my wife, but I like her. And so I'm not going to make a decision that to allow them to do something that stops my wife from liking me back. That's probably a smart move right there. All right. All right I'm a coach's daughter. And I know what it's like when your dad's coaching you. And even when he's not coaching you, it's kind of hard to take that coach's hat off. Do you find that with your kids at home? Well, so during COVID, I'm, um, I realized I'll never coach either one of them. Uh, my oldest son made it very clear just from an academic standpoint with me just having to be the person that was doing the schoolwork with them. Uh, he made it very clear that I would not coach him. 
<laughs> that I will have to trust someone else uh, doing that. Um, you know, just because of how that went, it's like, yeah, this is, um, we're not, we're not going to do that. So it was hard for everybody. I'm going to bring it back to here to the ladies at Thompson. And you mentioned earlier, teaching them to be comfortable with themselves. So you're looking at them away from the court as well. What are you hoping with a young team this season, put the wins aside, what are you hoping to accomplish with these young ladies this year? Well, I mean, the biggest thing for me is trust. That's what I've I've come here and I've told them. They have to be willing to trust one another because our relationships, uh, that's earned. It's not an easy thing. Uh, I've, I've asked our parents to trust me until I show them that they cannot. When I show them that they can't, then I'm not asking them to trust me. And so that's the same thing with our team. Uh, we need to build that trust in one another where the, the, the when the opportunity presents that, during the game where that play defines our relationship, it shows what type of relationship we have. Uh, all of those things play into it. And so it's, I've been big on developing uh, trust with one another. Uh, I am a faith person. Uh, that is what, what brought me here more than anything is uh, my relationship with Christ because I want to be um, <clears throat> a light in this community, not just to, to uh, women's basketball, but in this community here. And so um, when I talk about knowing who they are, I'm talking about knowing who they are in Christ. Know what God has to say about you, because that right there supersedes what anyone could ever say about you. Uh, when you understand how much God loves you, then you understand that none of this other stuff really matters. Absolutely. And even though you don't know who you are yet, he knows he's got a plan for you. So I know they can find your schedule on Twitter. They can. It's, Where else they can find things about you guys? Uh, Instagram, you Instagram. Our Instagram account is probably going to have the more up to date things. I have to get back into uh, what is now X. Um, yeah, that's right. And so, right, it's it's yeah. I'm still struggling with that as well, and so um, I got to you know get a little bit more active uh, with our Twitter account. But I'm a social media person because I realize there are good things about it that our program can benefit from, and so it's that account is going to be active for us. So go there, find the schedule, and come support the ladies. Coach, thank you so much. Thank you.